What's up, everybody? So, I've been out riding today. Um, I didn't shoot any videos, you know, moto vlogging or anything like that. I pulled the mic out of the helmet and figured I'd sit down for a minute and I'm going to go over the bike, all the mods I've done, everything that I've done so far to it. Um, not planning on doing anything else to it right now. Might, well, I might do a tank bag. I haven't decided yet. Uh, just to make things easier, especially whenever I'm going into uh, work, because you know I gotta show my ID whenever I get on post and everything like that, just to make it easier on me instead of shoving it in my helmet and every, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've been out riding today. I did the advanced riders course yesterday, um, and I was expecting it to be a lot harder than what it was. Um, super easy. Uh, the drills themselves, like. You kind of go over them, you kind of do them, and then, yeah. Uh, I think the hardest drill we did, which, truthfully speaking, on this bike, uh, compared to the other two dudes that were in there, one of them was riding a Harley Sportster, so it was fairly easy. He was pretty nimble on it. Um, the other dude, he was on like a Suzuki something, another, like a Boulevard or something, big bike, you know, and he was having a little bit harder time, especially around the cones. Uh, he was so big every time he would lean and like try to go around the cone. He would end up hitting it um, But yeah, uh, like the, the hardest drill that we did was There was like three circles one's like huge one's medium size and one's like super tiny and you have to go through and technically you got to do all three but the instructor we had, he was like, well, I don't care which one you start off on, like whichever one you start off on, that's fine, I don't care. So since there was three of us, we all got together, uh, do it on the boulevard for the Suzuki. I don't know if it was a boulevard or not, I couldn't tell you. Beautiful bike though. Um, he, uh, he said he wanted to go to the bigger one to start off with. We were like, all right, that's fine. Dude on the Sportster said, if you're cool with it, I'm gonna go to the medium. I said, that's fine. So I went to the small one and the cones are laid out like a certain distance away, but they're in a circle. So you have to go in and out of the cones in a circle. So it was kind of kind of weird at first, and then like once you do it, it like you realize like it's not as bad as you thought it would be, but you have to go like one way counterclockwise, and then the other way you gotta go clockwise. So you do like all the way around in the circle to about halfway, and then you'll go down and you'll cut around and you'll get back to the starting line. And then you go through it the opposite way do the same thing about one and a half and then uh, make a big loop around to the start point. Uh, that was probably the hardest one, but truthfully speaking, it wasn't that hard. Um, the course itself, like I did learn a few things um, as far as like turning, like how to like lean with it or counterweight it, but you still lean in a way like just the bike leans and doing it on the course, like going at like a slower speed, was like super hard and it was like difficult to like figure out exactly how to do it and the instructor like he was kind of explaining it to us he'd stop us explain it to us again and then we'd keep going and he was like but y'all are doing like everything the way it's supposed to be so like you're not gonna fail so we were like all right cool you know like as long as i don't fail that's really the thing we looked at um but yeah i got it done i passed um so now I, I guess I'm an advanced rider or something. I don't know if that's the term for it, but yeah, I don't really know what to do with it. And I'm gonna try and talk to my insurance and tell them I went through the advanced riding course with my bike. Like I'm skilled on my bike enough that I don't have to worry about things and see if uh, like maybe it'll drop like insurance or something like that. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Uh, like insurance on the bike's not very expensive anyways. So like I'm not super concerned with it, but yeah, I'm gonna see if it'll drop it a little bit. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't, but it's still worth a shot. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do an overview on the bike. Uh, like I said, I've been riding today. Uh, and honestly, the only reason I rode today, cause I was gonna, I'm, I still got some things to do around the house. I might have to go pick my son up here shortly. Well, I got probably about an hour, give or take. Uh, and then I'll go pick him up from school, but uh, yeah, my wife hit me up. Apparently she didn't have one of her classes in college today. So she asked if I wanted to do an early lunch and if I wanted to, if I could come pick her up because she had parked, you know, probably 
15, 20 minutes away from the building that she had to be at because like she bounces around through different buildings. So she was like 20 minutes away from her car and I was like, yeah, it's gonna take me like 23 minutes to get there uh, when I pulled it up on the maps. And she was like, that's fine. And I was like, you want me to bring the truck? You want me to bring the bike? And then I put bike again on there with a question mark and she was like, sure. So I, I took the bike, I packed her helmet in my bag and I took off and I pulled over on the uh, street, like in the bike lane and got her her helmet out, put it on, we cruised down, got some food, um, and then cruised back and I dropped her off at her next building that she had to be at for whatever her next class was, I have no idea. But yeah, so went right in there. Um, and then I swung back to the house, I had to go to Walmart and take something back. So I took that back. I was gonna shoot a video on the ride back and then I completely forgot to put my GoPro on whenever I got done on Walmart. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick walk around the bike. Uh, feel free to comment, you know, questions about like the things. I'm not gonna post any links below or anything like that on like where I got them from. I'm gonna tell you where I got it from and then like you're just gonna have to do the research um, and stuff like that because I don't really know how to link stuff down there and do anything because at the same time, like I only got, I think 105 subscribers right now. I'm trying to boost those numbers and then I'll start like posting things down there because you know hopefully I can get like a, a small commission off of things if I make it that far which is what I'm attempting to do is kind of grow this channel start trying to make a little bit of money from YouTube and uh, possibly start you know doing like giveaways on stuff like not necessarily motorcycles per se but you know maybe hats and gloves or you know something like that if I get like you know promotional things and stuff like that I mean I'm sure a lot of y'all probably have thought about doing the same thing and I finally hit the point where you know what I'm gonna try and do it and I'm still not a big fan of talking in front of people um, so that's why I'm shooting this video in my garage because I was gonna swing by a park at the same park I did the little clutch uh, tutorial video in and I got there and there was a bunch of people down there so I was like yeah I'm just gonna go home so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that overview on the bike real quick. Everything that I've done so far. All right, let me get my helmet off of here. That way we can go over everything. So I am rocking, this is a Sedisi Strata 2 with the uh, Parlayer, Cena, whatever, uh, helmet flare horns. Um, my wife has purple ones on hers. My son, his little dirt bike helmet over here. He's got the red ones, he wanted the red ones. So he's got red ones, but he also has a little red mohawk right there too that goes on top of it whenever we cruise around. But this has the photochronic lens on it. So you can see it's pretty clear right now. We'll set that in the sun for a minute and then I'll come back to that. Oh, and then I got the chin mounts. GoPro mount right here sits on the chin. That's where all of Moto Blog videos and everything like that come from. Uh, you can see it already changing. So like it gets pretty dark. It gets dark enough to block out the sun. But anyways, so this right here is my 2022 MT-07. I've done a few things. I bought it used, had, I wanna say right at 3,100 or 2,900 miles on it. Uh, one of those two, the guy that I bought it from didn't really do anything. He still had the big whale tail piece coming off the end of it. Um, so I had bought originally the low bracket that sits down here. And it has the point where you can put the tail light in there and everything like that so the tag actually shines. Well, I got pulled over and they said they couldn't read my tag because of the tire. So I said, okay, give me a warning ticket. Didn't give me an actual ticket. So I was thankful that I only got a warning. Um, so anyways, I bought the TST swinging mount so I can adjust the height of it and everything like that. Uh, and I am getting a phone call, so I will call you back. All right, sorry about that, had a phone call. I can't remember where I was. Oh, the swinging mount. So yeah, got the swinging mount on there, but yeah, I got a warning ticket, um, and then I put the swinging mount on there. The issue with the swinging mount is if you want it to swing the tag away, uh, you gotta loosen the screws. But I mean, it is what it is, you know, it's not that big of a deal. To me, it's definitely not that big of a deal. Uh, but the guy that I bought it from, he didn't really do much. Uh, had the whale tail, um, didn't have the frame sliders. I put the frame sliders on, I put Rhino Moto, um, bar end mounts that way I could get bar end mirrors so I could get rid of the bug eyes um, I put got screws uh, you can buy these on Amazon one of them's a reverse threaded screw that way it fits on both sides because one of the the handlebars has a reverse thread and it's due to the wind hitting that way it doesn't 
unscrew the the uh, rearview mirrors. Uh, I got TST shorty uh, levers for the clutch and uh, and the brake. Uh, yeah, TST Industries sliders, TST Industries uh, front turn signals. I also have the integrated uh, rear turn signal as well. Um, yeah, for, uh, frame sliders on the front, frame sliders on the rear, and then of course the WOMTEC, and all of this came from TSTs. So uh, integrated turn signal for the rear, turn signals for the front, and the WOMTEC all around protection package came from TST Industries. Uh, the guy, he had a massive like windscreen on here and to me it just didn't fit the aesthetics of the bike very well and didn't look very good so i bought the puig high tech and it just mounts on there um just as is i have uh ordered it off of amazon it's a grill guard so you know just to protect the radiator a little more and it's cool because it's got the mt07 written onto it as well um the bike is dirty so you know bear with me on that i just haven't had a chance to clean it um the guy I bought it off of had a cheap, like eBay style exhaust, uh, full exhaust, uh, but it had a leak in the bottom of it and it wasn't really muffled at all. There was like no muffler in it. So when I bought it, it was super loud, super obnoxious. And I was like, I can't do that. And he had a baffle for it. So I put the baffle in and yeah, it ended up melting the paint off of the exhaust. So I was like, wow. And then that's whenever I found the exhaust leak down here at the bottom. And I was like, wow. So I went ahead and just ordered the Yoshimira R77 exhaust. Full exhaust system. Obviously, y'all have heard it before. I'll do a startup video here in a second. Uh, the bike's already warmed up. It's not cold, so it's not going to be a cold start. But uh, yeah, this thing is very loud. But I, I just I love the tone of it. I've had no issues out of it. I did not retune the bike. Uh, the guy before me, whenever he did that other exhaust, did not retune it. So it does pop a little bit on downshifts. You know, it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal to me. I don't mind it. Um, up here, I got the Rockform uh, foam mount and the Rockform foam case. So you can see that little bitty hole right there. You just slide it in, find the hole if I can, and lock it down and it ain't going nowhere. I've been on highways no issues whatsoever and it's a quick disconnect as well <clears throat> the case is also also magnetized um they make it for iphones the uh, iphone case wasn't as magnetized as this android case is because the android case also has a magnet at the bottom but then you can put this piece back in too where this hole's at and i got it inside but it's another magnet so i can stick this on like a wall or something metal and it's hard to get off um but yeah that's just well i got the comfort seat as well so i took the stock seat off because it had the stock original and i put the comfort seat on and it's like night and day difference uh and then i bought volcano come from italy i believe it should nope doesn't say it on there but it was uh i know for a fact it came from italy um but it's cool because it's got the mt stitched in here and all it is is just a cover there's no extra padding or anything like that it's just a cover it's kind of like a carbon fiber almost leather pleather type deal and then a felt style on here but it's not bad at all um so we'll turn it on real quick as you can see at 6426 miles and then like i said earlier i got the integrated turn signals and everything like that into the rear but here you can see them light up but they also have that white led style lighting around the edges and it works on both sides as you can see there and then you can see the rear is also illuminated nice and good and then i got the the tail light or the tag light right there as well so integrated pretty well so let me see if if i can show you yeah the brake light so it's integrated pretty well um, I love it had no issues out of it had a cop behind me today he didn't say anything he didn't do anything but I know he was watching me <laughs> 
just because of the style of the bike, all black and everything like that. But yeah, other than that, man, I haven't done anything. Um, just like I said, simple stuff, but we'll do a quick startup video real quick for you. I'm gonna have to move the bike anyways. Put the mic down there. So yeah, um, but that's everything on the bike. Uh, my neighbor stepped out, so came back inside. Um, plus it's nice and cool in here. Uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to leave here shortly. I'm gonna go pick up my son, me and him. As soon as he gets home, we're gonna do his homework, make sure everything gets done. And then, yeah, figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. Wait for my wife to get home. I gotta, gotta go do some stuff around the house. I gotta caulk some couple things up and and redo some caulk, but yeah, um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, uh, but that was my 2022 MT-07 and the things I've done, um, and like a quick little overview of what I did over the day and also yesterday with the Advanced Riders course. Uh, once again with the Advanced Riders course, man, it was so much easier than I was expecting. Um, I was expecting a lot more, um, but like I was happy with the way it went, and yeah, like I, I couldn't be happier that it's out of the way because now on post at least I am legal to ride for the next five years, except for whenever I do go to another post, then. I have to read into their regulations if I have to have, you know, a bright shirt on or a bright vest or a neon vest or a night vis vest and just random stuff like that, whatever, like protective gear that they like to, uh, to add on. But this is the, this is the other piece I was talking about. It's another magnet. Uh, and you literally, you pull the case off your phone, slap it back in. It's good to go. Uh, so I'm going to put that back in because the only time I really use the rock form mount is whenever I have no idea where I'm going. That way I can put the phone up on the mount and use the GPS. So, but yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. Like let's, you know, try to grow this channel. Um, if y'all see anything that I can prove on, please let me know. And <clears throat> yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, next time I do a video, I'll go over more of maybe my helmet, uh, the jacket that I have, um, but like in the summertime, I wear these Magellan t-shirts and I have a Icon uh, chest and back protector. So it's like a little vest. Um, but yeah, I'll go over like gear that I typically wear. And then, yeah, that's really about it. Uh, y'all be safe, y'all be cool. If you're looking to get a bike, uh, I have a tutorial on the clutch. Uh, I can show you like the MT-07's clutch. Like you can let all the way off of it. Not super quick, like nice and easy, but like you can coast. like. It's in the video, like my hand still stayed on the tank, never touched the throttle, and I was all the way off of the clutch, just using one hand, just using the left hand to steer. So, yeah, go check that video out if you've came up on this one. Um, and if you're thinking about getting a motorcycle, go into those courses, basic riders course. If you've already done the basic riders course, I suggest going into the advanced riders course just to get a better feel, because whenever you do the advanced, you do it on your own bike. So those people, especially the people in uh, the military, uh, and I know Harley does it too. I'm not sure if they still do. I'm pretty sure they do. I don't see why they would stop. But if you're looking to ride, you don't have a bike, and you want to learn how to ride, go to the Harley dealership. If you're in the military, find your safety coordinators on post and get into the motorcycle basic riders course. And they will teach you everything uh, from how to find the friction zone on the clutch to throttle control to starting off, to stopping, um, shift changes, and just the basic controls of every motorcycle. Like where's your turn signals, where's your horn, uh, where's your clutch, where's your front brake, where's your rear brake, where's the gear shift. Um, 
is it chain driven belt driven you know like stuff like that like they'll go over like every aspect of different motorcycles and how they are because a harley is completely different than like my mt07 and it is what it is but like i said that's going to be the end of this one y'all hit that like button hit the subscribe button and let's just keep the knees in the breeze and if you're looking to ride get out there and try to figure out a way to get on a bike and have somebody show you how to ride but y'all be easy